Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about moving your graphs and charts into Word. I'm not going to go into the details of how to make the chart because I did that on a previous video and you can see that in the Excel playlist. Um, just make sure when you're doing separate bars you have to do separate series. Okay, so so you have your chart already made and everything's labeled and you have it exactly the way you want to. You can right click the chart and you can hit copy. And then you're going to go into your Word document and you can hit paste, but you want to paste with options. So you can, there's a few different options depending on how you want it to work. I usually keep source formatting and link the data. And so now you have your chart inside your Word document. So you'll probably have your introduction, then your methods, and then here's, this will be in your results section. And for most rubrics, you're required to insert a caption or a figure legend, is what they call it, for your charts. So to do that, you would right click, insert caption. But if you right click somewhere in the middle, it doesn't have that option. So you got to make sure you right click on the entire chart. Okay, for figures, it'll be below the chart. But if you had a table, it would, you change this to table and it would say above the selected item. So make sure you differentiate between the two. So I'm going to do figure, below, okay. And then from here I can start typing out the title of my chart. So, and depending on what your TA wants is how, like, it's not, sometimes it's not clear how detailed you should be, so you could ask your TA about what stuff you should include, like um, maybe the error bars, the standard error, or any other significant part in your chart. So that's how you do that. Another thing I might want to point out is some people are trying to insert charts using Word, and when you do that it gets a little weird, so I recommend doing it in Excel first, and then copy and paste in here. And that way you can save your data on a separate table, and you can save your your document in Word and everything will be separate. Another thing, after you make your um, complete lab report, I, I know I've talked about this before, but I would save as a PDF and so that when you, let me go to save as, yeah, when you go to create PDF, um, it'll lock in all your formatting for your charts so your charts don't get weird when you use Turnitin or some other program or when you email it either way it just locks everything in so that your data is in the right place and the words aren't going around it in a weird way because it gets really weird if you just send it in to turn it in that way okay guys um, that's all